Okay, students, we are moving on to the last part of transformation. So today we'll be touching on rotation. Not a difficult concept, just have to follow um, the steps very carefully. Okay, moving on. So what is rotation? Basically, rotation is a form of transformation. So a figure can be rotated uh, from a reference point called the center of rotation. So when you rotate, you have to find out, okay, do you need to rotate it clockwise or anti-clockwise? Sometimes um, we will also use this uh, term turns of rotation. So first thing is to start out any point of the object, meaning the vertices. Next is to join the points uh, from the, uh, with reference to the center of rotation with a straight line. After that, use a protractor to measure. You know, if you need to rotate 90, per, uh, 90 degrees clockwise direction, then you have to measure um, 90 degrees from the reference line. To find out where is the image point okay and after that you rotate um, one of two points first once you get a basic shape you can actually uh, complete the full shape after that okay and then after that uh, we will be able to find the actual uh, image okay so i'm going to use this as an example so you are given uh, this uh, you know this special l shape on the uh, cartesian grid so we need to rotate, you see there are a few instructions given to you, there's a rotation of 90 degrees, quarter turn, okay, anti-clockwise, that's a very important um, <coughs> instruction, anti-clockwise, and the reference point is P. So as you can see, P is actually located here, okay, so that is a very important point for us to refer to. So step number one, let's look at the line between P and E. And we need to rotate this um, anti-clockwise 90 degrees. So you put a protractor there, you measure 90 degrees. Yep, it's on the left side, it's along the y x uh, the x-axis. So again, okay. So that it will be the reflected line, isn't it? Uh, the rotated line, should I say? Okay, so that's how I get E prime. So same thing now, if I locate C, I join C with P, I use a compass measure 90 degrees, I will locate C uh, on this point here, okay? Okay, the right here. Um, so as you can see, after I located, okay, C is there, and the corresponding D is over there, B is here, and A is over here. So once you are able to get the corresponding uh, points, you just need to rejoin them and the shape must look similar to the previous one in terms of size, okay, in terms of size, okay. So as you can see, if you study carefully to answer B, see um, the object, the original ABC points are given and what is the image point I have also written now. And you can see a very close relationship between them. As, as you can see, the x value for the objects became y value of the image, and the y value of the object becomes negative of the x value of the image. Oh, if you study carefully, okay, pause the video, try to make sense out of it. Okay, so that's how you can explain uh, um, how you get the respective um, images of the points. So moving on now again, you have a situation of rotation with reference to point P and 180 degrees turn clockwise direction. Okay, to be honest with you, uh, whenever you see 180 degrees, okay, do not be, um, honestly, it doesn't really matter whether it's clockwise or anti-clockwise, both also will end up in the same um, place, okay? So when you see 180 degrees, don't be too worried about the clockwise or anti-clockwise. I always say it doesn't really matter. Both will give you the same answer. So now, looking at P, again, you need to rotate 180 degrees. You put a protractor there. You measure it. Okay, that's right. F prime will be located here. Same thing. Okay, you do the same thing for the rest of the points. You realize that E prime is actually here. Okay, and then after that, you have D prime, C prime, B prime, A prime, G prime, P prime. So once you have that, again, you join the lines, to get all the dots together, 
you get a shape that's very similar to the original shape, isn't it? Okay. So I have to answer B. They say is the image congruent to the object. So the question that I ask yourself, are the two figures exactly the same size and shape? So that's the meaning of congruent. Okay, not only size will be the same, the shape must be the same too. So if yes, meaning both objects are congruent to each other. So next example requires you to find out where is the center of rotation. Actually, quite straightforward. Okay, you actually rotate with, uh, with one point. Okay, that's how you get all the B prime and D prime. And it is actually using A as the reference point, isn't it? So A didn't change at all. Okay. Next, okay, you're supposed to determine uh, how to describe a single transformation. Uh, even though the first part you have uh, three different, uh, two different sets of instruction. First, you are, you are required to move A B C D, um, A B C D, um, three units right and one unit. And one unit up so when I do that that is the image then after that moving on they say translate the image two units left and six units up so two units straight left and six units up that's how I get all the a prime b prime c prime uh, d double prime should I say okay so now in order for us to use okay going to part b a single transformation that can produce the same result so we can easily translate one unit to the right and seven units up to produce the same result rather than we go through two different steps. Make sense? Okay, moving on. So the next one, you are supposed to trans, uh, <coughs> reflect. Uh, it's a combination of transformation. Okay, first you need to reflect V in the line L. So, yep. So I get all the respective uh, image uh, points. Yep, that's how I get the re reflected V. Then after that, translate the image 6 unit right and 3 units down. 6 unit right, 3 units down. That's where I will find a new image, which is A double prime, B double prime, C double prime. And then rotate the image 90 degrees anti-clockwise about B. Okay, this about B is actually missing. So I, I have to have it on, otherwise... It can be reference of A double prime, C double, C double prime, isn't it? So, um, okay, with reference to B double prime, again, I rotate it um, 90 degrees anticlockwise. Okay, so that's how I get the new um, image, which is uh, ABC triple prime. Okay, so that's about that's it for our lesson today. So complete all these um, questions. Next week, uh, we're going to have a test on this. Okay, basically on all the three uh, transformation. Okay, so anything uh, you're not sure to do, drop me a note on Teams or direct message. Okay, bye-bye.